Hello everyone, this is Ninja Guy underscore 12 here bringing you a match in the Hygog and yes, this is a very, 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 very old clip. I mean, you, you could very obviously tell because I'm playing with Salty Walty here, who is also in a ne neon green puke cancer Hygog like me. So yes, this is a very old match. <laughs> uh, so... Honestly, I don't remember too much of what actually happened here, uh, other than just, just torture for the other team, I guess, when basically they're dealing with pretty much an entire team of aquatic mobile suits, other than just like the one Vishdani goof that we have on our team. Everything else is pretty much a water mobile suit. So, yeah, there's that. But yeah, uh, before we continue, if you guys want to make any uh, GB2 request videos this month, you can ask me on my Discord server. Uh, obviously there, it's just the easiest way to, uh, or like easiest way for me to see what your requests are. And if you want to uh, use the colors that I am using in this video, you can ask me what they are in the comment section down below or on my Discord server, depending on which one's better for you. So, <clears throat> the High Gog is a 350 point general, level 1. I think it goes up to 450 now. I'm pretty sure we might eventually get a 500, I think. Honestly, I don't remember. I haven't used this suit in, like, forever, so I don't even remember anything. For all I know, there is an actual level 5, and I'm just being really stupid. Or not level 5, level 4 at 500 cost. There we go, that's what I meant to say. Thank you, Brain. And... <clears throat> The high gog is still like pretty fun general there are like one or two things i might want to change about it like in terms of like improvements but otherwise this is pretty fun general there's nothing bad about it but i guess like the easiest way is just like there's some better options <laughs> so in terms of weapons, its primary weapon is pretty much uh, the hand beam gun, which does decent damage. Not the highest DPS weapon in the game, of course. It does take a little bit to stagger people, but otherwise, still a pretty good weapon. As I'm dead. <laughs> uh, so there's that. It has, uh, in terms of melee, its claws, which are alright. But pretty much my only real problem is just like it's pretty hard to actually hit people when you knock them down other than just doing your neutral swing so basically unless you're going only neutral and maybe if you get lucky side swing like you kind of have to like hope you're angling or like someone's like somewhat above you so you could actually hit them with your down swing when you knock them down if that makes any sense Otherwise, you're pretty much not going to be doing any damage, and you're just going to want to hate yourself. Just as I have. <laughs> but, <clears throat> other than that, uh, in terms of other kind of weapons, it has the, I think, waste um, kind of missiles. Which, those are actually pretty good, actually. I don't mind them at all. They are just pretty good and reliable. And it does also have... A small little pair of Vulcans, uh, I think chest-mounted Vulcans as well, which are also pretty good. Again, nothing really wrong with those necessarily, and yeah, this is what I'm talking about where you kind of want to hope the person is just slightly above you so that you could actually hit them with your downswing when you knock them over. And then basically its last weapon is basically a kind of large missile that goes on your left hand. Now, my problem with this weapon Though it is pretty good, does pretty decent damage, and it does stagger. My problem is I wish you could actually have the choice of if you wanted to use it on the right hand. Instead of being a leftist, because obviously I'm not a lefty. And sometimes I completely miss with my missile because, oh, I didn't take into account my left arm, you know, just hit a wall. So I just completely fucked the missile. 
So I wish, so I wish if they would either just make you choose what side you want to actually fire the dumb thing, or if they want to be really generous, give us just two missiles and have it on both arms. I think that would be the best thing to go about it, at least in my opinion. But otherwise, this suit is pretty fine. It does have um, a bit of maneuver armor. It does have, I think, two dodge rolls, I think. I think mostly one, though. But you could correct me if I'm wrong on the double dodge roll part. And two hit melee, so, or, well, kind of, well, yeah, it's technically two hit melee, but, uh, the downswing technically does two hits, so technically if you want, you could get, like, at least three sw hit swings with it. Sorry, I'm just kind of talking sporadically, because they just suck. <laughs> But yeah, the high gog's pretty fun. Of course, this is kind of like the what is it? What was that dumb thing? Uh, the United Maintenance Plan. There we go. This is basically the United Maintenance Plan's version of the just standard gog. And honestly, that gog is probably a lot better than this high gog because it actually, I think, it actually take a bit of damage, and it's much more bulkier too. Though, the only real advantage this thing has over just the standard GOG is just the fact that it's a lot slimmer. So it's not really that obnoxious, I guess, in that regard. And also, it probably is a lot faster than the GOG because of how thick that thing is. But honestly, you might as well just take the fucking gog as that thing could be much more useful in most situations i mean we see in 0080 the um high gog literally just getting killed by a what is it the uh the uh what was it the gym cult districts type submachine gun and yeah i'm pretty sure if it, that was just a regular gog it would just tank it and not you know get one shot by it so there you go on that one but yeah okay this thing does have double dodge roll. okay so i wasn't going crazy but, uh yeah there's not really much else i really want to say about the high gog i mean it's fun i just don't really like using it i guess is my spiel because I feel like there are just some better machines to use. I mean, at 350, like, you have the Gunner Marine type and the Zogok, which are probably infinitely better than this thing. Basically, the only real advantage this thing has over the Gunner Marine type is just the fact that it has maneuver armor and double dodge roll. And pretty much the only advantage this thing has over the Zogok is just double dodge roll. Meanwhile, the Zogok has, like, Instant, it has an instant knockdown um, melee weapon, and the Gunner Marine type has a fantastic weapons loadout and a heavy stagger as well. So honestly, when you compare the Igog to those two other options for water mobile suits, this one is probably the worst one. <laughs> but that's pretty much my opinion on that. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and commentary, and I'll see you guys next time. Take care, everyone.